Some people say it's haunted, like, why? This boat certainly has a lot of haunted history. I'll be honest, I'm still a skeptic, guys. I'm hoping... How? 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 Imagine spending so many of your hours here. I'm already getting some really spooky vibes in here. Oh. Oh, music box. One just went off. It, it is the is room. The room. You can't Clear think. as day. Could you please give me one solid sign, something physical, something to show me that you're truly still here on this ship? Did someone move the pants in that room? I'm not even kidding you, bro. The pants is on the oh bed. Oh my god, the pants aren't hung up anymore. So much activity is going on. Almost all the devices are just going crazy. All right, 100% not a skeptic anymore. No. I 100% believe. Yo, what's going on, Ronan fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Steve Ronan, and today I present you World's Most Haunted. Guys, I'm with the crew. Hopefully you've been following this series. We've been hitting up a lot of haunted places in the UK. And today we have been invited to ghost hunt at the URRS Discovery. This is the first most innovative ship in the world that was used to go to Antarctica before no ships could have sailed through the seas in Antarctica because of the ice. But this one, the front of it was made of steel, which allowed it to just break the ice and keep sailing through. And this was built around the 1940s. That's really all I know so far, but we have a very special guy that will be telling us all the history and information about it. And then we're gonna go right into the ghost hunting and staying all night here. This place is super haunted. It's been said that the captain of the ship still lingers around here and is very powerful because it's known to move things around so I'm quite excited I hope you guys will enjoy this and before the adventure begins don't forget to smash the like button let's go down inside deck right now. I also want to show it off for you guys. Now when I first got here I flew a drone and the ship didn't look that big but now that I'm here on the deck is actually pretty massive. I haven't yet been inside or gone on the tour yet. Let's just check out the outside for a little bit. First time being on a ship like this and I believe that there's three floors to this place. Look at that. Here's the steering wheel. Wow that's huge. Did they really use this wheel to maneuver the ship? Because it's massive. of the Hunting Nights team. We're up here in Dundee on the Discovery. This boat was made in the 1900s. Captain Sir Markham wanted this ship built for expeditions to go up to the Antarctic to count the whales and see how many we had so they could continue to kill them, basically, and to do any other research as it's a land that wasn't known in those days. He contacted Scott, he came aboard, who contacted Shackleton. They got some crew, 49 men. Unfortunately, not all of them got on, so there was a lot of fights, a lot of fisticuffs going on in this boat when they were on the expedition. It did travel around to certain countries before it went off on its expedition, and when it left New Zealand, unfortunate event happened when one of the crew actually died when he fell from the crow's nest in the middle mast and felt his death by smashing his head on the deck. That was a miserable, sombre Christmas they left to go on their expedition. When they were up there, they'd done a lot of research, everything was going fine until the expedition went wrong. A lot of lives were killed, a lot of dogs were slaughtered due to frostbite and other ailments due to frost. and weather conditions. So it was a long trek back so you could imagine how the men felt trying to traipse back to the boat and because of this the boat got stuck in the ice so the boat was stuck up there for two years rather than just being the one year. So how did it get stuck in the first place? Because of the weather conditions. Because the expedition went wrong and they were so slow in coming back they had to wait on them coming back and they the ice grew, obviously, winter set in and it got stuck, embedded in the ice and they could not get it out. 
so it was it was stagnant it would not move so the men were stuck on this boat in the ice anyway do you know what their experience was like when that happened they well, just being stuck there they would have been miserable they wouldn't have been able to get any contact obviously they were desolate it was in an it's up in the middle of nowhere, there's not a place where boats go past. So getting contact to other inhabitants was a long time in waiting. You could imagine minus degrees on a metal wooden boat. This would have been freezing. The, there was amputees going on, there was frostbite going on, there was hunger. They would have had to cut down on rations dr dramatically in order to survive. So Because they didn't know when they were going to get out the ice, basically. So how many people were on the ship and then how many people passed away by the end of it all? Nobody actually died on the boat um, that we know of apart from the Charles. Um, but we do know that the, the captain did set himself on fire in his own courtroom by candlelight while he was reading the book. Um, the beds were obviously made of horsehair back in those days so it would have just went up like a hot air balloon. Was it by accident? It was, it, yes, it was accident, yeah. He did survive. He was taken off the boat and died of his injuries the next day. Yeah, so on the way back, that's when the accident happened and he was set on fire in his bedroom and it was severe, severe injuries. So how did they escape? How, who's, who saved them? Another boat went up, it was sent up to uh, blast this boat out of the ice by dynamite. So it was the dynamite was set around the boat to break the ice up so that the boat could manoeuvre. How long was that? That was two years? or The boat set off on its expedition in 1901 and it came back 1903. Ever since then, what has this boat been? Well, it done the expedition for the whales, it done it a few trips. But then after that, it was for trade. So it would bring back furs, eggs, dogs, sheep. It was a transport vessel. It also helped in World War I with military ammunition. All over the world, it's seen horrific sights, as you can imagine, because World War I was a really bad war. And then after that, it was passed down to the Royal Navy and they used it as an experienced boat for the scouts in order for them to learn the skills of the Navy. Mm -hmm. And it was used as a hostel for them as well in those days to do all their training. So when did it become this museum or part of the museum? I believe it was in the 1970s. It just cost too much to fix and it was out of date and they, used, they changed it into a museum because it's a beautiful piece of boat and it was this and another were the only ones that had three masts that exist to this day. So yeah, it's a rarity. Masts? Masts, the big poles that are on the, the top deck. Oh, okay. There's three. There's oh. no other boats that have three masts. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. This is both really unique then. Yes. Okay. Some people say it's haunted, like why? This boat certainly has a lot of haunted history because Markham was the captain of the boat. This here and say that he is still on this boat. As they say, Captain doesn't die with ship. And in his courtroom, there's always ongoing events happening, things moving about, cold spots. And they say there's poltergeist activity, which basically means things get moved about, or doors close, or yeah, there's even electrics that get switched off and on. In the Captain's room, um, a light is supposed to go off and on on its own accordance. Uh, in Shackleton's room, they believe he came back to haunt this boat as well. There's lots of going on, but then there was a lot of rivalry between Shackleton and Scott because Scott was very jealous of Shackleton because he made good friends with a lot of the crew, whereas a lot of the crew didn't like Scott because Scott was Markham's protege. Maybe you can explain like where it is and like if people want to come see it. All right. Well, this boat's situated in Dundee Docks in the harbour, uh, which is on the east coast of Scotland, uh, above Fife. So you have to actually go past Edinburgh, go past the Kingdom of Fife, and cross the Tay Bridge into straight into Dundee, and you'll see it on the dockland. Oh, if you're interested, you can go online and you can book tickets for any time of the year. Um, you can actually go on and, and have a look in it. There's videos that tell you the history 
more in depth history of how the ship was built and what changes happened to it because it actually changed when it, I believe it went to New York and they fixed it so that it could uh, acquire a two-man uh, aircraft so that when it was on the expeditions it could go further afield rather than just sit in situ. into the quarters where the captain would be and his men. Exquisite room. This is where each man, Shackleton across there, who everybody liked and adored. Armitage. And over here in the corner, this is where the captain lived. This is the very room that's supposed to be haunted. Oh, the captain is himself is supposed to be in this room. Oh, this is a nice room. You can tell, can't you? Yeah. It's slightly bigger than the rest. Yeah, you can tell this is the captain for sure. So this is one of the most haunted rooms. Yeah. This one. And this one here. Shackleton's. Because all the crew liked him. This is Shackleton's. The favorite guy. Favorite on guy the boat. On the boat. Uh, the room is now our base for all our equipment. <laughs> Anything spooky happening in here too? There's supposed to be lots of going-ons in there, things moving, cold spots, footsteps. Okay, I forgot to even ask, like, any haunted stuff that happens in yeah, the captain's corner? Yeah, there's supposed corner. to be lots of movement in there, poltergeist activity, cold spots, feeling like you want to get out. Yeah. Okay. And cold. And... People say that they feel sick sometimes on here as well. Really sick. Okay. Come through here, you'll see the living quarters of the crew members. You can see how sparse it is, all cramped together. And this is where they would have vet. A lot of surgeries would have happened on this table where amputees happened. Oh, no way. From frostbite. And it looked exactly like this too? Yeah, yeah. it would look like this. Wow. You had to have all your men sitting, so as soon as you ate, you were off, and then the next lot were, were on. But this is where they did all their, their surgeries. And these are their beds. You can see how cramped they are. Very narrow, dark. Even the one in the corner is just so tiny. Mm -hmm. And then the cots and the hammocks, just to show you yeah. how they would live. And if you imagine the boat moving up and down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jeez. So you could imagine the, a lot of fights and angry, cold yeah. men. They don't really get much space over here. No, well, that's it. There's no space at all, really, is there? Wow, I really can't believe how small the beds were. I cannot imagine myself, you know, just staying in one of these things and laying down here. I don't even know if I were, would be able to fit. But this is how it would look like in the inside. Get your privacy with the curtains. That's about it. And it's not even enough privacy. You can just see through here. Imagine spending so many of your hours here. But they would probably just be working on deck or around the ship every single day for many hours. And they would just probably come here only for sleeping, you know? So I don't think they would spend too much of their time here. But I bet when they were stranded, you know, people were probably sleeping in here in the freezing cold. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen here. You've got your sick bay and your storeroom, which is larder, whatever you want to call it. Uh -huh. And the cook's around here. We've got a mannequin just to show you how things would be. So when they had food, this is where it would be all prepared. One cook. Wow, one cook handling it all. What's a typical meal here that they would cook? Looks like he's cooking eggs or something over there. Maybe some chicken. It looks really good. It'll be a roast of some sort, probably. Okay. And lots of potatoes, just normal, basic yeah. vegetables and what they had on the store down to when uh -huh. they ran out of food. Okay. Beans and lentils. Down here, 
would be storage. Because remember, I told you this is a storage boat where they just carried supplies all around the world, especially World War II, and furs and eggs and things like that, sheep and the bear that we took to Edinburgh Zoo. So this is the start of where they would start storing stuff. And then go on straight down here. As you can tell from the boxes that they've got. What do they have in here? Oh, some cheese. Oh, chocolate, fruits and vegetables. I think the food lasted. It yeah. would have lasted a while, yeah. Yeah? But I don't know how long, but it is a boat, boat, as you can see. It's massive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? And lots of supplies. So, there'd be lots of surpri supplies, yeah. Uh -huh. So has anything happened in here too that's haunted? Any paranormal activity down here in this floor? We've picked up um, activity through radios. Yeah, okay. if you play them back, you get a lot of activity through there. Cameras, things, uh, orbs. Okay. Yeah, that kind of thing goes on. And this is the engine room. So as you can see, this guy here. He's like a hard worker. Hard worker, uh -huh. filling, stoking the fire, as they say, you know, mm. keeping it going, but it wouldn't have kept everybody warm, though. Yeah. Jeez. Just for the engines. This is the front of the boat. So this would have been absolutely freezing because this is where it would be cutting through the ice and the water. So oh, you wow. wouldn't want to be in this part because it would be freezing. I would hate to be that guy. Yeah. I had to be in this one, in this one room. So this part would cut the, the ice? Well, this is the front of the boat. Right. Yeah. So okay. this would be cutting through the ice as it traveled up through to up to the Arctic. Wow. And this was one of the first boats to do that, right? Yeah. So like, what did they invent that made it like the first thing to do that? Because most boats were made of wood in those days and this had steel bars in it to support it so that it wouldn't smash into bits while it was going through the ice. Right. So there was lots of metal girders to secure it and make it sturdy and strong. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, anything, any activity in here? Again, like the rest of the ship, lots of barbs, lots of activity, feeling of you don't want to be here, feeling of being seasick or okay. just feeling ill. Yeah. All right. So the ghost investigation begins, lights are all off. I'm excited for this. I think this place is gonna be really haunted and we're gonna get some crazy evidence, hopefully. I'm um, already getting some really spooky vibes in here. It's currently almost midnight, it's 11.44. You guys ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Call away. I'm really excited because this is something all different for all of us. For so. real. This yeah. is super different, guys. I don't think you'll see anything like this online besides our videos. I'm really excited for this. The first Arctic ghost video on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. First Arctic ghost video. <laughs> see, who's doing it out there? No one. So definitely go follow us and just keep on with the journey. We're doing a whole series. No one's doing it like us right now, guys. So be sure to keep up with the haunted videos. We have so many days to go. For those of you who yes. are just watching, you have to follow what's been going on. We've been exploring super haunted places in the UK for the past like three days already we have more days to go so keep up with the journey and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the video before the ghost investigation begins smash the thumbs up button if you're excited now i also want to point out that due to safety purposes there's going to be some lights on in this ship but for the most part we're going to keep everything lights off as we keep moving forward now of course we got a bunch of ghost equipment with us these are josh's right here the legendary Panasonic DR60. DR Can't forget yeah. that. This is legendary. This thing costs around, it, it costs around $5,000 to get these nowadays. I missed Four. my chance. Four? Four to five. Four to, dude, I've seen them for 5,000. Did you? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. All, they're crazy. Jeez, they're I love so this cool. thing. It's one of my favorites, guys. If you haven't seen like some of the haunted videos, we've been using it 
and it's discontinued. No one can really get it. There's limited stocks all around the world. Um, and they say that is, that's the best voice recorder you can get for ghost hunting. And it's been true. So definitely go check out the rest of the haunted videos on my channel if you want to see it in action. But you're going to see it in action t in today's video as well. Um, music box, EMF reader already been going off. We got dance equipment right here. But here, we're introducing a new type of equipment on this trip because Dan just got this, the music box. And a guess, lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money as well. This is apparently the best music box on the planet. This uses ultrasonic sensors and can detect up to six meters away. Anything that comes out of the woodwork, anything that penetrates the air, this will capture it, so interesting. We have the best gear in the game throughout this entire trip, so definitely follow us. Now you may be wondering about my ghost equipment. I think we have enough. I just have the Rempod EMF reader. This one is my specialty though, the night vision camera. I love this thing right here. We're gonna start off this ghost hunting with the lights on, but eventually we're gonna use our night vision cameras later on. So we're gonna be starting off right in this room. This is our base, but in here also has the captain's room, which is supposedly really haunted. Very, very haunted. A lot of poltergeist activity comes from here. But you're gonna have to watch towards the end of the video because we're gonna save the best for last because a lot of people report so much activity there. Things moving, voices, you name it. All right, we're just setting up the ghost equipment now. We're gonna put Dan's spirit box right here. We're gonna sit behind it. If it goes off, it kind of means like someone's sitting on the chair. Not only that, but we have another music box pointing at the captain's room. We got the REM pod right near the main entrance. And we got another night vision camera just watching the whole entire room, including us. So we got this room covered. Big activity. K2 uh, meter has been going off. Could you put a little bit more of your energy into it again, please? Oh, oh just red, like black, that. yellow. And dude, this is mine. Oh, oh it's a red. Dude. Already. Already activity. That's mine. That's yours? That's mine. So that's legit. That never goes off. Never. Just so you all know, you've been watching me. That never goes to red. Oh, oh my God. It's going crazy. Dude, now it's going. Whoa. It's so constant. Yup. Oh. Oh. Music box. One just went off. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, I'm again. Whoa. Is that detecting me? No. Both of them are going I didn't off. catch that on camera, but both music boxes are going off on the we same heard, time. Well, look, we're, we're all over here on this side. There's a music box facing music the box captain's quarters, and then a music box facing, music box facing that room. None of us could have set that off. And look, that's at the same I'm, time. I'm still here. That will not that's crazy. The EMF readers are right here. EMFs are going Whoa. off. They're going Whoa. off. Both of them, simultaneously. Both. Yeah. You never see that happen. Yeah. We have a REM pod in there. All right, we're ready. I'm Let's start. You. Let's turn on your music to show box. I you guys everything, but it's like, dude, there's so much actually happening it's already. Like, yeah, we're so. trying to make it start, yeah. but there's so much going on yeah. that we can't even start. Oh. oh. The K2s went off at the same time. Guys, someone just walked in front of the table. Holy crap. K2s are still going off. Already? How, how is this possible already? Dude, we haven't even, we haven't even asked, we haven't even introduced ourselves, nothing. Yeah, oh, let's do that before I even yeah. do an, uh, uh, an EVP. Hey guys, I'm Josh from the United States of America. I'm with my three friends who are going to also introduce themselves. We're here to talk to you about a few questions about what happened during the Arctic. Hi, my name is Seth. I'm also from the United States of America. We're here to communicate with you. We don't mean you any harm. <gasps> That's mine in the captain's That's room. Bro. That's mine in the captain's room. That's Hello, awesome. captain. I'm just here to conversate with you and your crew. Um, you know, if, if anybody wants to communicate with us and tell us about your expedition, about your struggles here, please feel free to tell your story. Thank you. I'm hearing yeah, vibrations. There's something something. over there. Oh my god, it got there's something something's over moving. There. It is something's moving over there. Than here. Hello? <gasps> What's that sound? That's a footstep. Someone's walking. Oh, what was that? These kids. One of them, maybe the chairs. Okay. We're on an old ship, so we have to keep that in mind too. <gasps> what was that? Was that a growl? Don't know what that was. <gasps> it's so Dude, there's sounds going on everywhere. Yeah. <gasps> oh shit! Yo, there's someone bro, in there. What's I'm telling you now, there is there's someone walking yeah. in there. Yeah, hundred percent. Bro, there's someone walking in there. Captain. Markov. Markov. Uh, let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Steve. We're here on a road trip. 
We learned all about you guys earlier. We know how tragic it is and what happened. If you want, we would like to learn from you guys because we admire your bravery. And it's so tragic of what you guys went through being stuck in the Arctic. If you would like to communicate with us, feel free to do it. We would love to hear about your experiences. Oh, as soon as you said that. Oh. There's someone in the captain's room. Is that you, Marcos? There's someone in the captain's room. Well, his, the captain is, well, it's Captain Scott is technically the, the, the one on the door. Oh. Captain and that's Scott. Captain Scott. And that's him right that's there. That's Captain Scott right there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's bring up some more Captain Scott. Is that well, you, Captain Scott? Okay, I'll introduce myself as well. Hi, um, my name is Dan. I mean, you're no harm at all. I come to admire your ship and hopefully help you if you need it. I'll talk to you about the expeditions you've been on. It must have been amazing to see some of the stuff you've seen, but also must have been super tragic. So feel free to walk out of the captain's room or your room and come and join us. If you can walk out now and set that device off, so we know that you're coming out. Maybe he's like already he's out. No, it's not. Well, he could be actually. He could just be walking around us right now. That's true. It is so cold right here. It got like, really cold. Dude, really I'm feeling cold. the breeze. I'm feeling, yeah. I'm literally feeling breezes. Yeah. That's weird though, because there's no th nothing really open. Dude, these K2s haven't stopped going off since we sat oh, down. Oh, 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 oh. Went off again. Is there anyone in here right now? Would you like to come sit with us? There's some empty chairs right here. Feel free to come sit and talk with us. Footsteps. What the f is that? Someone is literally walking. What, you know, that's it, what that? That makes it more legit to me because you see that one, one of them went off first and then the next, like yeah. an energy passed through it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why it's good we have two now. We have yours going off in the last episode, which is going off now. And I was a little like, whoa, is it, is it really or not? But it was, that's yeah. how crazy it was. And now they're going off again and I got mine out. All right, I think there's so much activity going on right now. We need to do an EVP. I'm yeah. down. Hundred percent. Yeah. I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. DR60. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get that baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put my. I'm turning on the. That. Or I forgot to turn that on so we can have a side view. Okay. Which is perfect right now. Here we go. This looks really cool, by the way. This is an amazing. Start. We're getting a good mm -hmm. shot. We're getting a better it's shot than I could All right, guys, you ready? Mm -hmm. Um, I'll ask questions here and. To hopefully the ghost is somewhere around here, around here, so they can talk to us. I'll, I'll actually ask that first. Here we go. I'm gonna go right now. Is Captain Scott here? Is Shackleton here? Is Markov here? What happened during the Arctic? How many of your men died during the expedition? Is that you letting us know that you're here? If it is, you can talk to us here now. <gasps> that is creepy. I swear to God there's someone walking around in there. I just saw a shadow. Bro. Are you serious? Bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most haunted- No, put the light on it. Well, that is the most there's haunted room. inside there, I'm telling you now. Oh my God. You saw what? it? Yeah, I saw a shadow plane is there. Dude, I believe you, bro. They said there's even poltergeist stuff if we go in the, the captain's room. But that's for last. That's the first time I've seen something like that. I mean, that's oh, fucking Oh my gosh. Dude. It's literally sensing something walking inside there. Let's make my eyes water. Should, it, should we just listen? Because I asked if Captain Scott and Markov... Markov is the other one that stayed in that room after Scott, though. Yeah, yeah. It's the other captain, Markov. I hope I said it. That's it. Markov, yeah. Sixteen? I'm not sure. That's when we stopped. So I might have heard sixteen men died. Not sure. We can we can ask again. 
Yeah, it kind of sounds like 16. I feel like we should ask on your end. I'm assuming there could be some yeah, ghost. Because it, obviously it's like real life, so I have to sit in front of it to talk. Yeah. So if you ask on your end, All right. if there is a ghost or spirit. I've got a better side. idea. What? Seriously, there's something in that room. Why don't you just go and put it in the room now? And, and, and Owens, come, come back here. here. And we'll shout the questions. How about we do it? Oh, you drop it in though. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Yes. That way it's undeniable if something happens. How about, True. How about this? I'm going to take that a step further. What? I'm going to ask permission and see if something goes off. Excuse me, Captain. Is it okay if I come into your quarters and drop off this device so we can speak to you? If it is, can you set off one of the devices in this room? Oh my god, bro, bro, I'm so jumpy right now. Oh my god, that's that, legit. It actually worked. So bro, you have permission. You guys permission. know my music box is legit. You guys know yeah, that. I want, I want to come with you, Sam. All right, okay. yeah, I'm going to stay right here. Hell yeah. no, I ain't going over there. All right, Captain, I'm, Good luck. I appreciate your, your permission. I'm going to come over and drop this off in your room. Yo, Seth, I got now, your back. Now watch how close he's got to get to that device on the other side. Just show watch. Watch. All right, this is going to go off since we're going to walk inside there. Is that the right way? It's still not going There you go. It's right inside the room. I told you. All right, Captain. Oh I'm going to press God. record. I just got the chills yeah, in here. Yeah, me too. I, dude, this is, this is insane. I'm literally shivering. All right, Captain. I'm going to place this down right on your book. Feel free to communicate with us. All right. We're recording now. We're gonna ask you some questions. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna ask you some questions and feel free to talk to us and communicate as much as you want. All right. Yeah, once we're renting this place out, by the way, like we're paying by the hour to be here. No one's renting this place, so this ain't even meant to be for a ghost hunting, I don't think. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, that's not Wait. even us anymore. Oh, wow. Yo, he's, he's probably standing next to the voice recorder now. And it's like maybe picking him up. Uh, oh, yeah, it wow. is. I think you're dead ass right. That was a crack right there. All right, all right, all right now we have to ask questions. Yeah, because he, he clearly wants to Yeah, we have to shout him so it reaches right. over there. Right, okay. So okay. Let's, let's all get in on this. Yeah. Are you mad that we're down here? If so, tell us. Do you like Shackleton? Captain, how many of your men died during the expedition? <gasps> Is that you knocking over there, or is that one of the crew, crewmen? Captain, do we have permission to explore your ship? Is there anything you'd like to t tell us? If there is, now's your chance. Now, if you finished over there speaking into the device... <gasps> Something touched. Something is in like that room. Or Something or... is in that room, guys. If you're finished with that device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, you can... oh my god! That's crazy! Oh my god! Oh my god. <gasps> yo, oh you can't get up! I've got goosebumps everywhere. You can't make it! Yo, yo, oh my god. I want to get the voice That's recorder. Alright, alright, go ahead. Oh my god. Thank you, Cap Captain. Or you Even I want to go. Do you want to get it? I want to get it. Okay, oh go ahead. God. I just want to come with you. Together. Okay, come with me. Come in here. Oh, come here. We have to get it. I just it. Okay, let's bring it back to base. All right, <laughs> Captain Scott, thank you. We're getting, in, in the fact that we're getting intelligent communication right. with that device Very is intelligent. incredible. Yeah. Look, there he is again. It's like it's like you asked, are you done speaking with us? He walked out to let us go in and right. then went back into his room. Oh, yeah. you're right. That makes yeah. total sense. I've that never, ever seen dude, that I've never before. seen that before too. And dude, I'm... I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there to be a yeah. believer. Yeah, this might be the place. This might be the place. I think I'm 90% there, you know? That was pretty, all right, let's see it. Maybe this guy's telling you to, to leave or something. Let's hear it. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Hey, what's up? All right, we're recording now. We're going to ask you some questions. I'm going to leave. I'm going to ask you some questions, and feel free to talk to us and communicate as much as you want. All right. This is us just talking. Mm -hmm. Until we shout, it won't pick us up because it's old. I see.
Yes, crew. it is the crew. Yes, it is. Crew. Yes, it is. Crew. Hang on. Louis said it is the crew. That's what I heard. Hang on. It is the crew. It is the crew. Just go. It is the crew. Let's hit one more time. Wow. I'm going to slow it down. It is the crew. It is the crew. It is the crew. You can't Clear think. as day. Clear as day, guys. Out. Guys, what do you think? Yeah. Let me know down in the comments below what you think shadow. already. Sold this is getting shadow. intense. All right. There's someone down there. Now there's noises where the crew bunk beds were. I think we should check it out. I'm, I'm down. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take all the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Yeah. I can't believe that, bro. That was the best evidence so far on this trip, I think. No, no, 100%. No. Right? I'm telling you now, I saw his shadow. And then I knew for a fact what I was going to ask, he was going to come out. I actually knew it. And you so seen I that? asked it and he walked straight out. Yeah, dude, like when you uh, said you seen the shadow and it, and it walked out, the, the music box even went off. Like, you can't even make that up. I am always amazed when I ask direct questions like, do I have permission to go in your room? Yeah. If so, give me a sign. And it literally did. Like, stuff like that is just so unbelievable. Yeah, it's like when you get that, you know ghosts. Like, this is why we ghost hunt. Yeah, for like... things like that. This is the proof that there right. is an afterlife. Yeah, but bro, think about it. There was, it wasn't going off. <gasps> oh. He's, he maybe came back? Oh my god. He, he maybe came back, back in his room? We're just yeah. sitting here talking. Yeah, about him. Like I was saying, it wasn't going off. And then I'm like, asking questions. And I'm like, if you're done, please walk out the room. Boom, it goes off. Yeah. How do you explain I know. that? That's true. How? And then you seen the shadow. No, I saw the shadow before. Oh. That's why I knew to ask. I know. I want to get his Polaroid picture so bad. I know. Well, he's back in his room. Maybe you can ask permission. now. I'm not doing it without permission. Yeah, no, that's true, just in case he... He's been super respectful to exactly. us, so we have to reciprocate that energy. Holy yeah, crap, that was a cold breeze. Well, cold breeze for sure. Oh I my felt God. that cold breeze, bro. Maybe that's a lot. they're coming back in, or maybe, I don't know. If there is anyone who's walked back in, in here, could you let us know by setting one of the devices off, like the music box? If that's you, Captain, who's gone back in his room, could you let us know, please? There's something, I almost think we should go in that room first. We've been getting a lot of noises in that room in the corner. I just want to snap one photo. Want to do it real quick? Captain, please can I come and take a photo of inside your room? Oh my god. Oh my god. Was that like yes? You think? I think yeah. he was confirming, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm going to come now. I'm going to get a I think we have permission to take a photo. Should get one? And just one, one more. Turn this off. That wasn't even Dan. I don't think so. I think There's one more. If you can sit on your chair, that'd be great. Thank you. All right, it's gonna take a, a couple minutes or a few minutes for the pictures to appear. I'll be honest, I'm still a skeptic, guys. I'm still a skeptic. Um, but I'm hoping. How? How? That was classic. How? Well, I don't know. Give me any. Give me something like. I don't know. Give me something. It's the, he was intelligently responding to our questions. That thing hadn't gone off for ages. I asked a question, it went off. There was voices coming through. Could the be coincidence. Recorder. I'm hoping something crazy happens though, for sure. But how do you explain? So the, the EVP recorder, DR60 was in that room. You could hear us shout into it. Whatever was talking to it was right next to it. How do you explain that? It's the crew, it says. How did you explain True. that? It was right next to it's the device. The We'll see. Your time will come. Something big how, will happen. How did you explain when I turned around and said, if you're done talking to the device now, please leave your room. Boom, it goes off. How do you explain that? It could that? just be chance. How do you explain me asking for permission and he gives it to me? Something that's not even physically there. Could be chance again, like just randomly, I don't I'm, know. I'm one of them guys, I will always look for a scientific explanation, right? Yeah. Just for like when REM pods didn't go off, I'm like, mm, yeah, REM pods going off. Spirit boxes are the worst. I'm like, yeah, you could pick any words out of a spirit box. It's constant static and constant noise from radios. But that you can't, you can't, ju you can't just say that's fake or you can't say that wasn't real. What we experienced then was class A communication. 
It, it was top only, notch. I'll admit that. It was the only top thing notch. that could possibly get better than that is if he walked out of his out of his room and we saw the full apparition of him. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I I, I would like that. Like, I would yes. probably quit ghost hunting just because of the fact that like I can't get anything better than that. Guys, we are going to the dormitory. It's also the place where they disembody the bodies. We're setting up all the equipment. We got the EMF readers right yeah. there. Um, we're putting the night vision camera or the spectral camera right there. Use a box over here. We'll be able to capture anything moving through these hallways. And another music box right over there that leads to the kitchen. Wait. That was a door that opened. Was it? Yeah, it's like a door that open and close. Back and forth. Yeah. Josh. Josh? Yeah, no. See, he's no, down it there. It wasn't Josh. No, he, that's his REM pod. Okay. But yeah, that noise came from here. Okay. All right, man. Hey, I'm not saying I don't believe, but I'm just like 90%. Like, I'm just 10% still a skeptic. Okay. Stuff going on in the, in the kitchen. We just heard like the a door open. Off and then bang. Another one? A door? I yeah. I it works. I missed it. All right, we're gonna role play a little bit and try to kind of reenact that we're the workers here. Who's here and wants to play cards with us? We're on your ship from the United States. This is a good way to get along with each other. Red. I have that yep. camera. Oh you my can't. god. D is someone sitting with us? Do you want to play cards? Oh, that's the same sound I heard earlier. Like a door, like door opening and closing. That's the, I'm assuming the next door from the kitchen. Can you come out of the kitchen and step up over here? Sit down with us. We're sitting on the table right next to the bunks. Can you bring the food over, chef? Going, going. It's going both at oh the same God, time. Oh, oh both are going red. Red. Both. red. Yep. red. I see, oh it's my. Right. It could be a chef. I've never seen this in my whole life. I've never seen this in my entire this life. This is amazing. Chef, is that you? I've never seen this in my life, I swear to God. And it just faded out like that. Bro, they never both went to red at the same time for a very long duration. This might be the best, like, Was EMF evidence ever. All right guys, we're just getting extra cameras, but we're now gonna use the spirit box to try to communicate. Still not sure if there's a spirit in here or what kind of spirit it could be. It could be one of the workers, the chef, who knows. Can you tell me your name? Help? Help. Help in girl's voice. Are you trapped on the ship? I said yes before I even asked yeah. the question. That was in a guy's voice. Is that you walking around? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me your name, please? Simon? Simon? I don't know. Joel? Joel? Billy? Billy. Billy. Okay. Three different names we're in one. Getting a sound off. Unless we're getting three different crew members still here. Simon, Billy, Joel. Are you members of the crew? I um, thought I heard a yes, but I don't know for sure. Oh, there's Rob behind me now. Can you tell me? Were any of the crew members amputated on this table? No. Unless because this is obviously a new table. So uh, it happened here, but not on this exact table. That's it. That's it? That's yeah. What said. That's it. Did you die on this ship? 
Yes. Wow. That was quick, too. I said yes, right? Yeah, it sounded like a yes. Either yes or this. Yes yeah. or yes. It's a male voice. Is this the RSS Discovery? It is. You heard that? Was that it or not? Did I say it is? It almost could sound like it. Yes. Yes. It is yes. Yes. Yes again. How many spirits are here with us? Six. 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 We both heard six. We both said it. Yep. Is Simon, Billy, or Joel still here? Billy. Billy. Billy again. You said Billy. Yeah. Hi, Billy. Billy, how old are you? Eight. Eight. Oh. Twenty-eight? Might be twenty-eight. Was that twenty-eight? Yes. 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 Wow. We know there's a Billy, Joel, or, or Simon, or all three here because the last spirit box session. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. We can try to just get something to answer us so we can keep moving to the next I place. I want to find out what's making those like, noises. Yeah, should we go more footsteps. down to the kitchen then? We keep moving? We should yeah. This is we should go downstairs yeah, now. Yeah. This has been the one of the coolest sessions I've ever done. I agree. For sure. You know, it's not like it feels dangerous or anything either. It's just more like they want to talk or they're hanging out or they're trapped here in some way. us from this room and heading downstairs all right guys so that was amazing evidence right there you know I'm not saying that I don't believe but I'm definitely still just a little bit of a skeptic I really want some solid evidence and so far there hasn't been really anything solid but I mean throughout this whole trip there has definitely been some crazy experience that I could not explain now there's light down here. I'm sorry guys if you're expecting it to be dark, but uh, for safety purposes, the people that gave us permission to explore this place had to keep the light on down here. And we're back here. You know, I haven't even been up these steps when I did the tour. All right, we're gonna set up a ghost investigation right here. REM pod, EMF reader. I believe the music box is somewhere over here in this room. Oh yeah, it's right there by the entrance. And then we have a uh, cap wall right next to this guy that looks like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Captain, if you can still hear me, please will you order your men to come up here. What was that? That, that was like a metal. bell. No, it's no. Metal. That's my other music box downstairs. Downstairs? Up? Oh. You mean upstairs? Really? Oh, down oh, downstairs, yeah. I have a music box still set up downstairs next to the captain's room. But this doesn't even sound like there's music playing. It was just like a look of it. I mean, yeah, I'm not no. sensing any negative energy yeah. in here no, at all. No, let's, 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 what are we here for? We're not here to look for the negative energy. We're here to get activity and evidence. And it's that true. room, that captain's room, I'm telling you now, is where it's all at. Yeah, no, so I, far, that has we been the most active. Yeah. I'm not gonna go back there, to be we should, honest. We should yeah, go now let's check it out. and focus everything. Plus, we've got those pictures to go and check. That's oh, true. Yeah, they check must, they're ready right now. Yeah, they'll be ready let's now. Check the picks. And maybe okay. we can talk to the captain and potentially figure out oh my God. what happened to the crew. Yeah. yeah. Let's go and do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Let's do it. I'm getting myself. Hey, it's going off. It's not supposed to do that, right? No, it's supposed to be green. Yo, guys. This REM pod lantern is going off. Yes. Yeah. yeah. As they like, heard we were coming back in here. It's still yellow. Look, look. That means something's there. It's just I've never seen that yellow. We just walked right in and it was like that. Oh, Wait a second. Oh, oh, and I completely forgot. Right. What? I've left my CCTV camera there recording the whole thing. Ooh. Oh, Guys, good job. Can't. Oh guys, this red plug lantern is going off. 
Yeah. yeah. To bring that up, we've never seen Look, that yet. Off. And now, now, oh my god! Oh my know. god! As soon as he walked past, it went back off. So somebody was here. I think someone was here, and he just pushed him off the way. Yo, he, someone could have been waiting for us, like the captain. Captain? Are you in that room? Yo, guys. What? Did someone move the pants in that room? I'm not even kidding you, bro. The pants is on the oh bed. Oh my god, the pants aren't hung up anymore. Bro. Guys. The pants aren't hanged up. The, Yo, I'm getting goosebumps right now. The pants aren't hung up anymore. They're not on the hanger. Those were, those were hung up. Right? Yeah, because I've got, I've got yeah. a picture of them. So, look, none of us did that. They, we ended up... Oh, actually, we do have... Holy show crap. them the pictures now. Okay. Now the pictures will prove it. Dude. <laughs> Yo, goosebumps, man. Yo, okay, guy, I told no, you. Alright, 100% not a skeptic anymore. No. I 100% believe. Yo, <laughs> hang on, let's see, let's Yo. see. This be the pants right there, they're hung up above the bed. Yo, and that room is known for objects to move. I think that's an actual poltergeist activity. Yeah. So, what's the definition of poltergeist activity? It's is that when things move? It is, it is physical And activity. they did interview yeah. us and say it moved. Uh -huh. But none of us captured it on camera, though. Yeah, yeah I was just saying we should have left the camera in there, guys. Because look at this photo right here. The pants are literally up, as I remember. I will say, though, it sucks that we did not have a camera in there to kind of show us the pants falling or moving. But I swear and promise to you guys, we did not touch or move anything in that room. You know what's getting crazy? What? We've been filming like so many ghost videos now that now when things happen, I'm just so used to it now that I don't have like a I'll, whoa reaction. Seriously. I'll be honest, I'm pretty scary. chill about it too. Yeah. But I'm not feeling anything bad in here anyway either. All right, so the idea was to put a ton of equipment inside the captain's room, which we're gonna do, but I really would like to just set a camera in there and kind of see what happens, step away from it and yeah. see if we can actually capture evidence, footage of things moving in the room because that's what it's known mostly for. All right, so I've got my night vision camera all set up. Music boxes are inside, REM pods, everything you can name of. Your REM pods going off in here, bro. Super. REM pods. So REM much pod. activity right now, guys. So much. We can't even leave the room. You mean my REM pods? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. It was, it was like a like. REM pods going off? Do the REM pod can't my, be seen. My, mine's going off as well. What's going off? The REM pod? My, my music box. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe this is happening right now. So much activity is going on. Almost all the devices are just going crazy. And it's unexplainable to me. In the beginning of this video, I was sort of a skeptic even when we were getting activity, but now I kind of really fully believe because this is unexplainable that's going on, especially the pants moving. I really hope my night vision camera will show something move in the captain's room. We're all in the rooms, captain. Can you sit in your bed? Can you sit on your chair in your room? He's obviously in there. He is. Captain, can you move something in the room? Steve touched your pants. Not me. It's true and I'm sorry. All right, so Josh is gonna turn off his music box because I think we have too many in there right now. Captain, are you still in there? Why is it that I turned mine off and now Yeah, why is nothing going off anymore once you turn your music box? Are oh. you still inside there, Captain? Right, we're going back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're all stood together? Is the pants still there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I've turned my light on super bright to see. I don't get why it just everything stopped all of a sudden. Me either. Come on, Captain. I really just want to keep recording that room. Yeah. What if we kind of pack up and kind of just yeah, yeah, let's pack up. Now? Yeah, we'll pack up the majority of our stuff. But yeah, leave this section because that pants, box. like when we found it on the bed, is just too crazy for me. No, I get it. I really no, want I to see if no, something me too. moves. Me too. I mean, it would be the first time in our whole lives, I think, if we would get like something like physically shown. Like moving down. Guys, we're just gonna pack up. But I'm gonna leave my night vision camera still recording because you never know what activity will go on. Uh, I really wanna see if something moves because that's the room is well known for that.
All right, so night vision is right here. You can see everything in this room. Oh, hey, what's up? We got some like ghost activity. All right. Yeah, we're just packing up right now. All right, no problem. Yeah, have you experienced anything here? No, no myself, like. And you're? A, there used to be a guy are, on. Are you security? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there used to be a guy on uh, Ed. That's me. <laughs> Ed Feeney, he used to be on, and he used to always say that they've seen things wandering about and what not. Yeah. And uh, one time he says he was walking along the bottom of the ship. But you haven't? No, Ed. Oh, and it was like, uh, he says it was like it was in the marketplace, and I said, oh. So, I don't know. What about you? Do you believe this place is haunted? Uh, no, I didn't go in for haunted. No. <laughs> How long have you been no. working here? Uh, must be about 20 years now. And not a single thing? No. Okay. Alright. It's like I tell everybody, I worry about the real life. Yeah. They worry me more than any spirits. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. We are packing up right now. I'm nearly almost done, but I just want to say this place has been incredible so far. Fourth day on this road trip, and I think this has surpassed the, the past places already. I really think, you know, this place is haunted, even though I was really a skeptic in the beginning and towards the middle. And unfortunately, there's no footage of the pants falling, but I swear no one even moved that. And it kind of sucks that there was no footage, but hey, we still have more footage to go through, such as the night vision and the CCTVs. Maybe we caught something there. I mean, you guys have probably already seen it because it's the end of the video. Hopefully we did. But yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Uh, for me, it's my top three or five. Mm -hmm. um, Waverly Hills is first, in case anyone cares. This is some of the best stuff we've ever caught. Seth and Josh, they have way more experience than I do. They've done like 20 plus places. This is like only maybe my fifth most haunted place I've ever been. And I'm just like, for the past few days, it's just been absolutely crazy. It's been a dream. dream. Like, Scary dream. Yeah, yeah. Kind of showed you what's out there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. And we have still six more days to go on this haunted trip. So I don't know. You guys are going to blow my mind by the end of this this might be the best spot definitely top but let me know down in the comments what's been your favorite part of the series down below what about you dan best evidence i've caught in forever yeah the old time i've been doing this and uh -huh. i've been doing it on and off for years so um just seeing the intelligent responses um knowing knowing that there was someone lurking in yep. the captain's room and then when you asked it to do something it did it. Definitely. It definitely. was just undeniable. So, in conclusion, you know, this place had unexpectable things and it is haunted for sure. Are you going to quit your job? No, <laughs> I'm quite happy working with all these <laughs> ghosts. Yeah. Plus, I'll teach them how to do some brass cleaning. I'll be easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to live a life of freedom, wander, peace, and thanks for watching. Ooh. You like that, you like that. Hey, you so you guys have to say your, your endings right I here. Guess. No, but for the camera, because the people don't even get oh. it right now. What's your motto? Rise above, peace and thanks for watching. Seth? Be yourself and go explore the world. Peace and thanks for watching. Dan? See, I just don't copy these, these guys. Dan just doesn't have any. I don't, I don't know. <laughs>